For the eighth year in a row, Boy Scouts Troop 139 is hosting their inner city camporee right in the city of Buffalo. But this year, it is a little bit different. We wanted to promote unity, so we have girls starting to set up camp right now. Girl Scout Troop 30015 is allowed to camp with the boys for the first time. We just want them to enjoy some of the things they might not do in Girl Scouts that we do in Boy Scouts. Earlier this week, the Girl Scouts of the USA accused the Boy Scouts of America of recruiting girls. For Geraldine Becton, a grandmother of three Girl Scouts, she doesn't see the two interacting as a problem. Girl Scouts are more gentrified. So now we're bringing the Girl Scouts out to get a chance to do what the Boy Scouts do. Sleep outside, sleep in a tent. Boy Scout Troop 139 is not actively recruiting girls, but camping with the Boy Scouts is giving some Girl Scouts something to prove. We can do as much as what guys can do. We can do tents, as you can see. So I mean, that's what we're trying to prove a point. We can do mostly what they can do. And just because boys are a different gender doesn't mean their girls can't do anything that what they boys can do. Girl Scout Troop 30015 is not turning their backs on the Girl Scouts by camping. Instead, they are allowing an interaction they hope will lead to respect. Boys and girls need to learn how to get along together and respect one another. So if they're doing things with boys and boys are doing things with girls, they see each other as more equal. More equal and not restricted by the Girl Scouts label. It'll blur the lines between it so they won't think of it as a boy thing anymore. They'll think they'll take their children camping because they've been camping. This is their first year, but I'm quite certain it won't be their last year. In Buffalo, Jeff Slauson, 7 Eyewitness News.